Nobody here. But her computer's on. Oh. You know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. You know, I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Adana. Kahal? You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. Catch you later. Adana, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Not after abandoning me for five years. I had no other choice. If I had stayed, I would have been a danger to the pack. To you. Yeah. That's what you told me when you left. I didn't believe it then, either. You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death. But dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most? That left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right, that you never thought about what it might do to me. Maybe you're right. I didn't think about how it might hurt you. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I... wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now, all I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rodko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. We sink them from the inside. Sink Andrin from the inside. And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava, Rodko, and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more. T everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people, makes them stink of the world. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. But, while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have access to its composition. That same molecule is in the substance they're injecting their troops with. As well as another project. The Earthblood Protocol. I don't like that they're using it in both their serum and their biofuel. Whatever it is, it's bad. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, block the biofuel's launch, and hopefully put the final nail in Endron's coffin. Thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me.
How you doing, big guy? Figured I'd get out of the way, let you catch up with 80. Though, from the look on your face, it doesn't look like it went well. She's still angry at me for leaving. Can you blame her? Shit, being a teenager is bad enough, but Ludmilla's death, your exile, it was all hard on her. But you did what you had to. You had to get away from us to get yourself back on track. That's what I tried to tell her. I've been telling her that for years. Never eased her pain, though. But you're back now. It'll pass. Just give it time. Adana told me about your mission to infiltrate the fracking site. Yeah, about that. We're currently at a roadblock. Indran's data encryption is uncrackable. So she said. Our only way to get our hands on that data is to take it directly from the server in their lab. But surveillance is tight. Even Adana couldn't get in there without being caught. And I don't think I could create a big enough distraction to draw their security's eyes away. What's Rodko think about you two going undercover like this? As you might imagine, he was a little resistant at first. But once he understood what we wanted to do, he gave us the green light. Sounds like you've got something in mind. If we want to draw security's attention, we have to hit them hard. Blowing up the refinery should do the trick. But that's not happening until we can get into the fracking site. That's step one. The site is protected by an electric fence and a myriad of cameras, all of which are powered by the dam Indrin acquired when it bought the site. Now, if someone could get into the dam and connect me to their network, I could access their system discreetly. Allowing you to cut the power to their defenses without their notice. Exactly. We can worry about the fracking site after that. Okay. I'll go talk to Rotko to see how he wants to make up the teams. Thanks, Gahal. It's good to have you back. But if you don't mind, I'd like to take a few moments for myself. Lost some friends during the attack. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. There's still a long way to go, but life's picking up again in the cairn. Ludmilla, I hope you can see this, wherever you are. So, were you able to talk with your daughter? As you might imagine, there's still a lot of tension there. Between the attack on the cairn and your sudden return, She's going through a lot right now. Give her time. Ava said the same thing. I hope you're both right. Speaking of Ava and Adana, they told me about their plan to get their hands on the encrypted data inside the fracking site's laboratory. To bring Endrin down from the inside, yes. I think they've got the right idea. If we manage to chase Endrin from this region, they'll just continue their dirty work elsewhere. It's time for a decisive blow. So we follow Ava and Adana's plan. We'll attack the dam to bring down the defenses of the fracking site. I want you to lead the incursion. You coordinate with Ava and Adana over comms, and allow them access to the dam's network. Ava gave me the rundown. But if I set off a single alarm, things will get very dangerous very quickly. I know. One sign something's amiss, and Tank Girl will be at the dam before you know it. So while you're sneaking through the inside of the dam, I'll be creating a diversion on the outside that should keep her attention off you. And even if someone does raise the alarm at the dam, Tank Girl will have no idea why you're really there. Good. You can count on me. Excellent. We'll have Declan meet you near the dam. He's got the relays you'll place to get Ava and Adana access to Indran's network.
I just can't get my head around the fact that we just buried Ironwind. Me neither. Hey, Kahal, right? You must be Declan. You with Lambda Mankind? That's right. Avis told me all about you. It's an honor, really. I don't know about that. I hear you've got the relays I need to install at the dam. Yeah, I got them right here. You need anything else? What do you know about the dam? After you took down their training center, they doubled down on security at all the other sites in the region. Even if Rocco draws their attention, they're still going to have a lot of resistance. They've even brought in some of their elite guards from Nevada. And these guys are huge. I don't even know if you could call them human anymore. We've met, but I had no idea they were from Nevada. Well, the training center you took out wasn't the only cart Endrin had in its hand. That figures. How'd you meet Ava, anyway? By investigating her, really. I used to be a cop, tasked with putting her and Lambda Mankind away. And I tried, but Ava runs a clean operation. That didn't make the bosses happy, though. They told me to falsify evidence to bring him down. That's when I realized they were in Endred's pocket. I tried calling him out, but the whole precinct came down on me like a ton of bricks. I had no choice but to run. And I ran to Ava. I pledged my life to fighting Endrin. You and the other humans. You know who it is you're working with, right? This isn't just ideology for us. Yeah, I know. I know what you are. Ava told us everything. Trust me, Kahal. We're all on the same side here. We're fighting for the survival of the planet, whatever the cost. I should be good. Before you go, I've got a favor to ask. We've identified a key player working at the dam. We think she's got important information on whatever Endrin's up to in Nevada. Her name's Victoria Vokes. We need you to question her. Get whatever info out of her you can. Keeping the Cairn safe is my top priority here, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Good luck, Hal. Huh? I need the civilians taking readings on the nearby riverbank. Should I warn the commander? No, they're working for us. Nothing to worry about from them.
I'll make good use of that. Nice. What does the commander intend to do about these activists? You'll know as soon as I do. For now, sit tight. You're all mine. Let's do this thing. We have a security. Oh, wow. 